So what we're going to look at in this video is connecting a speaker to the micro bit and then making it play some music. So our program will, like all of them do, uh, from micro bit import all, import music, which enables us to play these music songs, well, music, it's not really songs, but music, a piece of music here from the micro bit, which are built into the library. And then we're going to import random so we can randomize it. So we've got a list here with some, um, just some of the pieces of music that are available in the library. And then we use a for loop, so for I in range five, which will mean it will play five different songs from the playlist. And then music.play, random choice, and it will playlist. So it will pick five, any five from here in a loop, sleep for uh, 500 milliseconds, then pick the next one and so forth. So to do that, we need, um, just a cheap, cheap little um, speaker. So this uh, is available. I got this from uh, the internet. I think they're about 80p or something ridiculous like that. So fairly cheap, good, good for schools as well. So fairly low cost products. And then all we need to do is just have two crocodile clips. So a black and a red is quite useful. So you could put the the black one on the negative, just like that. And then we can put the the positive onto the zero. There we go. And then all you need to do then is connect your black one to the end of the black cable, which is just here. And then your red one to the end of your red cable. Okay. And then all we do then is we will flash our program to the micro bit. And then as you can see, we've got a little speaker. Hope you can hear it. That's the first one. Second one. So there you go, play through five different uh, different uh, pieces of music from our list. Um, surprisingly for a small little speaker, it's quite good, quite good for a classroom as well. Um, you know, if they break, it's not a massive expense lost. You can also connect headphones to it as well, or a 3.5 millimeter um, cable to some speaker, a bigger speaker if you want to do that as well. Um, but I hope that's given insight on how you can use the micro bit pins to play music um, you can also break it down to different notes as well, but that's just a, a good starting point to get you started. hope that's been useful, um, and I'll see you on the next episode.